Let's consider for a second a fourth degree polynomial. It could look like this. It could look like this. It could look like this. These are all different possibilities of what the graph could look like. Notice, though, how many times it hits the x-axis. Here it hits the x-axis twice. This one hits the x-axis twice. This one completely misses the x-axis. This hits the x-axis uh, twice. This misses it altogether. Uh, this hits it three times. This hits it four times. This one over here hit it at exactly once. But we see that with all these different possibilities, the most it could ever hit it is four times. It might hit it none. It might hit it up to four times. And the rule is an nth degree polynomial can have up to n zeros. A zero, a zero means hitting the x-axis. So it can hit the x-axis up to n times. So fifth degree can hit it up to five times. A third degree can hit it up to third three times. A fourth degree polynomial, as we see from these pictures, can hit the x-axis up to five, up to four times. And when a polynomial hits the x-axis, we call that a zero of the polynomial.